guys. Happy Thursday. How we doing? Friend boy. Friend boy indeed. What's up, Kuro? What's up, Apple? What's up, Lily? I don't know who else is here, but hello to the people who've already said hi in chat. We're gonna work on some stuff. Because I realize I have way more commissions than I thought I did. So that's what we're gonna do. Um did this one. Yeah, oh yes, I, I actually, I saw it, like, right before I was setting up the stream. Hang on, let me, let me go poke it. Uh, Kuro's plushie lover. That's their name in the Discord. Uh, let's see. There's me. Yes, I did see that, artsy lesbian. That's me, that's the one. Alrighty. Let's see. Um, alright, let's um The Codas isn't really one I can do on stream. Uh it's a little bit tough to do do Vashers. Um Let me find the character. Trixel wants me to draw. Oh. Let me do uh, Trixel's raffle slot real quick, just to get that out of the way so I don't, like, forget to do it. It's almost Friday, you guys, and the sky at my house is real fucking yellow, and it's weird. We had this, like, huge thunderstorm on the way home from work. Like, maybe 30 minutes before I was supposed to leave work, it started to get real dark, and now it's, like, it, it was, like, so dark and cloudy and rainy and, like, it was lightning the whole way home. It was really cool, actually, but also a little bit scary, um, <laughs> if I'm honest. So, um, but now it's just yellow for some reason. Go by Kuro on the Discord and most things. I'm too easy to change my Twitch name. Hey, that's fair. I don't even know how you change your Twitch name, so it's almost Friday, which means I'm almost a couple days closer to visiting your girlfriend. Yay! How exciting. It means it's Friday, so that means it's almost the weekend, which means that we are a day closer to uh, me getting to sleep in. I have Trixel's character up on my other screen, by the way, um, just so you know. I'm really quick going to do um, Tested's raffle, or not Tested, uh, Trixel's raffle slot, because um, I just, that, uh, that'll be one thing off my list, and then I don't have to worry about it anymore, so. I'll do this real quick. Can I change my YouTube, though? Probably not. I don't know. Sleeping is great. I want wings. Wings and sleeping are both uh, good things to have. I would agree. Uh, so Trixel wanted me to draw this, like, robot character of his, and I don't know, I don't know anything about this character, but here we go. That's the one! I'll take Trixel's slot if he isn't in. Trixel already won, so <laughs> that's not how that works. I can't really see it, but it kind of looks like his other eye is, like, cracked, almost, and it's not lit. Which is fine. Alright. Actually, I'll, I, I could do, uh... I know. I am teasing. I tease you. I am teasing. Uh... I have to, I have to redo uh, apples. That tonight. Oh. Because... Storing the has to be. Yeah, let me go over that real quick with a um color. Cause I started as I was going, I started doing these a little bit differently and tested just the first one <laughs> that ended up being in black and white. 
and then I realized that it took me far longer to do the black and white than it would have ever taken me to not do the black and white, so... I keep putting it off, so it's time to just do it. Um, let me find, though... I did... Sketchy outline. Here. Kale, what's up? We're working on commissions, and I'm doing a working on fixing up this raffle slot real quick, and it's it's gonna be good. How you doing? That piece is currently my Twitch and Twitter profile image. Well, soon you will have it in color. Making stuff, same. Also making stuff. Making stuff is good. I uh, got all of our Pokemon leveled up in Platinum, so I'm ready for next stream. Uh, Nezzy killed its first Pokemon. I'm very excited. I'm very proud of him. Very, very proud of them. They did, they did a very good job. <laughs> Pretty, what's up? You go ahead and lurk. You do your best. I'm gonna draw this boyo real quick. Is sort of blocky. I don't know a single thing about this character. I just have a picture of him and I'm trying to make it look cool. Robots are weird because it's hard to do facial expressions on them. I don't draw robot characters very often. <laughs> I think the only two people who ever buy robot characters from- Well, the only person who ever buys robot characters from Nugget. I've never really done robots for anybody else. Get the burn of that down. Starbound theme. Why do you have such a long pause at the end? So, I had a pizza for dinner tonight with cauliflower crust, and it was really good. Again. So, good choice. Supposedly slightly better for you than actual pizza, which is fine, because I like me some pizza. And also, today was a pizza kind of day. Today was the kind of day where I just didn't want to cook anything good. I just wanted to have a pizza, but I knew I would have hated myself if I had actually gone out and gotten, like, you know... Dominoes or something because it's greasy and disgusting, but also so very delicious. So, went ahead and went ahead and uh, did the cauliflower crust pizza, and it was actually all right. <laughs> you load that shit up with cheese, you don't even you don't even notice. Gonna have wings later. Good. Very good choice. Good decision. I have all this stuff to make, like, real food, but alas. It was not that time. I don't have a lurk command, no. You are more than welcome to lurk, but I do not have a lurk command. Oh my goodness, the shock and horror on your face. And, oh, what's up? Also, hi, Penny. Welcome to Lurk Zone. It's 
the lurk command. Well, I, I don't. Um, <laughs> I didn't feel like I needed one. That's mostly why. Um, Fev has a lurk command where it like lets her know that the person who typed it is lurking. But I don't. I guess I don't get it. But like, not. I don't know. <laughs> To be honest, do other people use that a lot? Easter Egg Productions, hello and welcome. Hopefully your shocked face is a shocked face of excitement and not of horror. Would alert someone without disrupting the chat. Gotcha. I mean, you're more than welcome to type the alert command. I just don't have... <laughs> I just don't have it set up to respond with anything. <laughs> Axel Bottle doesn't say anything. Axel Bottle just accepts that you're lurking. Everybody excited for the weekend? Or excited to get the weekend out of the way if you're somebody who works on the weekends? Because let's face it, some of you guys work on the weekends. Today's my day off this week. Yay! Day off. Lurking's not a bad thing. It's another viewer in the chat, at least. And since I want to get to partnered, uh, it's a good thing to have, even if there's lurking people, I think that counts. So, um, I mean, I'm down for... You're more than welcome to lurk. You ain't gotta be in my chat. <laughs> you ain't gotta. You ain't even gotta be on my video, man. It, the fact that any of you guys even come to watch me doodle things for uh, two hours is ridiculous to me. So, in a good way, good ridiculous. Just I just it still blows my mind a little bit that people come and watch me for two hours. So, <laughs> semi adulting, booking a plane ticket, checking out transfer schools. Ooh. To take to get partnered. Um, the the only thing I'm missing for partnered is I need to have an average of 75 people in my chat. Which, uh, yeah, no. That's the that's the rough one. <laughs> We're not gonna get that anytime soon, but that's fine because it's I like the community being a little bit on the smaller side right now, so that's it's okay. We're 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 doing all that we can, and the stack will grow as it does. It, we will. We will expand. We we will we will come taller as as time goes on. I had to awkwardly help. Speaking of taller, I had to awkwardly ask for help at Trader Joe's today because I was not tall enough to um, I was not tall enough to reach something on a shelf, and I had to go find one of the tall employees to help me because I couldn't get to it. Basher, what's up? We grow as we grow. Yep. The sack grows best when watered with love and care, yes. Exactly. The safe space. You guys can come, and if you want to lurk and just listen to my weird voice, you're more than welcome. Occasionally I say the word fluffy, and for some reason people seem to like that a lot. But I'm just gonna hang out. It's gonna be great. Why are robot arms weird? Gonna have to adult a lot tomorrow. Uh, relatable. Robots, why are you weird? Okay, you're doing your best. Great line tool, that'd be great. There we go. I have to do some vaguely adulting stuff this weekend, mostly like cleaning my apartment, but um, on the plus side, Pokemon Go Community Day is uh, coming up real quick. I'm kind of excited about that. 
So, you guys have the answer to this question. But, um... Ventura's got a metal arm, too. I think that's what I'm seeing. His, like, just got, like, the copper here, maybe. Kind of what it looks like, anyway. Robot elbows. Okay. That's the one. Yeah, that looks fair. And then he's missing this arm, it looks like. Oh, I'm glad, I'm glad you like it, Trixel. I decided I wanted to work... Oh, I, I decided I have to work on commissions today because I've been putting it off. Um, but then I was like, you know what? I've been putting off doing this and it's almost the end of the month again, so I'm going to do this real quick. <laughs> so here we are. I've got like a button there, though. Uh, throw some flat color in there. Good to go. <sighs> Chilling and vibe vibing with Shovel Knight tunes. Heck yeah! That we are, friendo. That we are. I am just mellowing out because, oh my god, it has been a long goddamn day. More so for my friend from work, but <laughs> you know, I have I have sympathy anxiety. Um, so I don't know how the joints in his arms and stuff work, and it doesn't- I can't see his neck, so I'm kind of doing my best here. <laughs> What's up, dear? Do you usually get called daydreams or dragon wings? Or do people usually say the whole thing? What's up, daydreams? <laughs> Is his arm cannon old? Is that what I'm seeing? Like, is that a highlight, or is that his, um, is that the actual color of his gun arm thing? Let's call him N. Lurking it up. You guys are the best. Just call him N. Yeah, there you go. N. Either is fine. Or D and D. That's really funny. D and D is good. Hots for a D and D game. Mm. <laughs> oh, 
I'm amazed at how many people play D&D. I don't know why I'm amazed, but it's crazy how many of you guys are, like, in the same place now. Mmm, Apple's gonna tell us a tale. I have two questions, Trixel, since you're here. Uh, my first question is, is this tan part on his arm an actual arm, or is that, like, metal? And my second question is, um, is the, is the orange part of, is the, is it an orange cannon with a yellow highlighted, or is it a, an orange cannon with a yellow, like, color accent type deal? It's all metal, okay. Just curious. That was more for curiosity. <laughs> the yellow is just the highlights, okay. Might still add them in anyway, but... We've got an, an, an encounter scenario where the party is investigating an old mage's workshop and there's currently infested with ghosts and random creatures of random creatures bound there by random items that were once part of the creatures. So like a ghost cow, ghost of a cow where one of the horns is the only thing left of it. Oh, interesting. That'll be fun. It'll probably give you a lot of cool opportunities to think up like weird stuff for them to find. It is Trixel's freebie. Is it is. It it is. I want to pull his arm in just a little bit because I think it's a do. Arms a little. Long. Also, hi, Riarker. What's up? We're uh, looping back around to you. I gotta get some headway. I have, I have to make some headway on your guys' commission. <laughs> I've been putting it off. It's just... It's not even because I don't want to do it, because it's fun. It's just also, it's like, work. <laughs> I'm just the idea of working. <laughs> you know? You feel me? Art is effort, and effort is hard, and hard is work, and work is effort. <laughs> yep. All those things. E all, all of the things you just said are true. The power of flipping masks. Or layer masks, rather. There we go. Okay, so I'll resize that and save it out after the stream. I always do. So you'll get to have this guy after stream. Oh, um, do you have more cracks on his eyes? I feel like he does. Okay. 
One down. One to go. And then we'll get back to some regular work. Because I've wanted to update this for, like, literally forever. And, oh my god, that looks ridiculous when you make it pink. I've wanted to update this one because it was the first one I ever did. And then I changed the style I was doing it in. So, give me, like, a hot sec to fix this. Actually. Ha ha ha. I love that emote. That emote is beautiful. Already did the line art. <laughs> Maximum love. This fire is green. You got it. You got it, friend. Desert. Maximum love. It looks like Ruby from Steven Universe a little bit. Like, just enough that it makes me say that. I think it's the color scheme, mostly. Man, I thought I was gonna have to redo all the color. Like, all the, um, all the line art, rather. But it's actually alright. It was magic fire, which is why he stuck his face in it. That's fair. That's a perfectly logical reason to stick your face in fire. If I remember correctly, your boyo was, uh, not maybe the sharpest pack in the box. And the bandana? It does a little bit. Still, I like it. It looks cool. Did you just put in, uh, your- your affiliate emotes? Plenty sharp. Well. It was magic fire that enchants items, so he wanted to try something outside of the box. That's fair. I take- I- I take back my original statement. And did- and- and what occurred? Uh, as a result of him sticking his face in the magic fire. Finished one, still feel feeling out what emotes I want to make. Might make one with my new icon. Yeah, there you go. I was, uh, advised to have, like, kind of a fancier one for the 25 tiers, so that's why we have the Model with the crown. Um, and the number two slot keeps changing. <laughs> so. His face got warm. <laughs> That's fair. And st there's Steve. There he is. That's the boy. <laughs> so what kind of, what shade of green fire are we talking? Are we talking like this neon green or are we talking like a bluish green? What sort, of, what sort of green? Steve is bae. Steve is the best. He's also an idiot. He wouldn't eat his worm again today. But I guess maybe he wasn't hungry because he did eat yesterday, so. The worms seem to fill him up a little better, so maybe he doesn't need to eat as much, like a pale green. Okay. I'm going to keep filling it in with this color, and then I'll change it. Going to see the movies tonight. Ooh. Are you going to see The Incredibles? I think you were talking about going to a showing of that. We're going to see that on Sunday. That is the current plan, anyway.
Oh, I hope it's as good as I want it to be. The Incredibles is my favorite Pixar movie. Hands down, not even a question. That's, that is my favorite Pixar movie. Might not be the best Pixar movie, but it is my favorite. <laughs> All right, so here today on the RTX LOL, you have witnessed me not being the smartest box. Given Tested's character shit for that. Uh, I accidentally merged the fire layer <laughs> into the line art layer. So now I'm going to have to fade out this line art. <laughs> they spent 14 years on it. They have to have... They had to have... Things planned, oh, I'm sure. I saw that meme going around for a while where you could, like, you know, it was like, you know, pick your favorite. Pixar movie out of these two, and then pick your favorite Disney movie out of these two, and blah blah blah. And like, as I was going down the list the whole time, I was just like, the bottom, it's gonna be Incredibles. So by the time I got to the end, it was like, well, <laughs> I don't know what will happen at the end of Monsters Inc. Wait, what? I now want to know what happened at the end of Monsters Inc. You mean like, um, like after Boo grows up kind of thing? Okay, unpopular opinion, maybe. Um, I really liked Monsters University. Maybe it's because I was in college at the time that it came out, but like, I thought it was really funny. It was like your classic, like, it was like a classic stupid college frat movie, but like, with monsters. How can you say no to that? How can you think that's wrong? <laughs> like... How could people not like that? It's a it's a dumb college movie. Get out of here. Like I heard people didn't like it. I thought it was fine. It was my favorite Pixar movie. Like it was I didn't change my life, but <laughs> I thought it was pretty fine for what it was. It was a stupid I thought it was a stupid college frat party movie. It was good and stupid and funny. You see Frozen, oh no. Good luck. Godspeed. In all honesty, Frozen's actually not that bad. Frozen's Frozen's a pretty good movie. Um It's it's not my favorite Disney movie by any stretch, but I think the reason everybody hates on it so much is because it got so oversaturated in the market. I mean, you could not go anywhere without hearing about Frozen. And I think that was its biggest problem for like older older moviegoers that was just that we got just so exhausted of seeing it. <laughs> like when the kids get out of the car and the mom starts playing hardcore music, right? So funny. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I didn't think it was the worst thing ever. But as somebody who worked at Toys R Us, I was definitely like 800% done with all the songs by the time that movie finally died. <laughs> there. But, all right, there we go. It's a bad mom you want to share that stuff and teach your kids to listen to it. Maybe the kids already do listen to it. As soon as that movie stopped showing, I was about ready to kill any kid who sang the damn song. Yep. Oh! Soccer ball, Biddy. Thank you. 
fly a soccer ball. Like, oh, I thought it was fine. Them fire, yeah. Enchanted fire, not having the effect he hoped. There we go. That's better. That makes me feel better. All right. Once again, I will now uh, save that out after the stream is over. Let's work on something else. So we got done. Oop. All right. Uh, what did more faces want? I could do a. Uh, cause it's only a headshot if I remember correctly. Ooh, yeah, okay, I don't want to work on that one right now. That's a complicated one. Morphasis wanted me to- why is this music? Um, Starbound, please, relax. Morphasis wanted me to draw one of their characters putting on a Spider-Man mask, but like- character has a muzzle, and I don't know how to put a mask on a muzzled character. Maybe that could be the drawing. Maybe the dragon could just be, like... The, the, the dragon? The dra Maybe that could be the drawing. The drawing could just be more faces his character have knowing, ha having no idea how to put the mask on. <laughs> It has to be very long and stretchy or zipper in the back, like luchador style. Mm. The thing is, I have to, like... I'll get back to line art in a minute. So there's two ways I can handle this, right? So the first way I can handle it is to just draw like the characters, like like the character like that, but then have like the Spider-Man like shape kind of pulled over her face real weird. <laughs> you know, like kind of making it work. <laughs> Gotta have like ear though for, for ears to stick out of. Or like that. Kind of looks like an angry Pikachu. Uh or I could have her like like and inside of it, like like a regular sized Spider-Man mask, right? So it's like, oh, Spider-Man. She's like trying to figure out how to get her like face inside of it. <laughs> like question marks. Pikachu, Pikachu Libre is bad. I knew she was a girl too. I knew that. <laughs> That's a fact I did know. I'm gonna get a drink real quick because my head hurts a little bit. Oh, actually, did I even invoice him for this? I don't know. I doodled up some ideas. That's the ideas. Come back to it. <laughs> yep, the heart. I saw the heart tail. All right, let's skip that one for now. Dakota's is all stream assets is... Oh, it's a lot more. Than um. I also forgot to get back to you about the sub-badges. Oh, yeah, I could do sub-badges. Um. I forgot that's the thing we're getting. Uh, I don't even know how that works, to be honest. But, um... That... Maybe we'll do that on Saturday, I think. Uh, just because I want to try to set it up a little bit. Alright, that leaves... Bird. 
I doodled this a little bit at lunch today, um, but I'm kind of not happy with parts of it. The first part I'm not happy with. I'm not, not crazy about her face at the moment. What's up, Stoic? Um, release. We're just gonna get rid of the head for a minute. <laughs> And I'm going to redraw it, because I don't like it. I'm kind of happy with the rest of it, though. I think maybe her feet might be a little bit small. Right, I think... I don't know, I wanted to have more of the expression of, like, a little... What was, uh, what was Post Scratch's bird? It was, uh, what kind of magpie, wasn't it? Not that kind of magpie, though. Where are you going? Stop that. All right, never mind. Um, oh, it's an Iberian magpie. That's right. That's the one. Chunky little little birdo. I kind of want to get a little, little fluff on her head like that now, too. It almost kind of looks like a robin. I'm trying to get a picture of it that's not in the shadow so I can see the shape of the head. He's so pretty. It felt really good to work on, like, world-building stuff yesterday, and so when I was at, like, we had a slow spot at work today, um, because everybody was up front in a meeting again, and I couldn't ask the questions I needed to ask, so I just doodled Dahlia and Slass a little bit. It felt, felt good, because I haven't gotten to draw them in a while. I'm thinking, um, I'll probably make a more formal announcement on another day, but, um, I think after this round of commissions, I think I'm gonna take a break, for real. Um, and maybe fo go back to focusing on, uh, world building for a little while, just because I'm, I'm, like, super duper burnt out on, on commissions. If I'm, if I'm totally honest, I'm, I'm a little bit burnt out on commissions. Uh, I, I'm not even really sure why, it's just... It's not like I'm not enjoying it, you know? Drawing this stuff is fun, and I, I don't know what's changed. I, I just... I want to draw my own stuff, I guess. I think it maybe is a combination of the fact that I'm working on stuff at work as well as at home that's not mine, and I haven't gotten a lot of chance to work on my own stuff. And I've been taking breaks, and I'm really grateful that you guys are, like, totally chill with me taking breaks, but... Uh... Apple, do you want her to continue to have the long feathers I gave her in the first drawing, or do you want me to do, like, shorter head feathers, or maybe no head feathers? Do you, do you care? Like, do you, have a, do you have a preference on her feather styling? Yeah, like, I keep wanting to take a break, and then something happens, and then I have to have to do commissions. You know, I keep not wanting to do them, but then my car broke down and I don't have any more money from that paycheck or, you know, whatever, and I'm too proud to ask for help, so. Because realistically, I can just ask you guys if you want commissions and people will buy things from me and I can afford it myself, so. But it's, it's time for a break, I think. I think I, I think it is time for me to not take more commissions. I feel like having no feathers might 
fit a female bird better because then you don't have to attract a mate. That's fair. Jadoa, it is 100% whatever. Um, it is 100% whatever they want to do. Sure, but I can... So if that's what she wants, then that is what she gets. I just put long feathers on her before without thinking. Well, and then there you go. So she is not the kind of Jadoa who wants to have long hair feathers. So she will not. Ain't nobody gonna tell her what to do. the old drawing though um apparently come back I need you for a second i want to put the same quote that i had on before but the feathers grow down towards the hands in a bird species with wings that has hand wait uh Feathers grow down towards the hands in a bird species with wing that has hands and feet. Oh, because aerodynamics. Um. I think on regular birds, they grow from the shoulders out. Oh, no, they grow from the wrist out. It looks like they would actually probably more come, like... It's almost- it would be almost like if we had fur that started, like, along, like, the front ridge of our arms, I think. That, like, I guess the right way to do it would be if the feathers went, like, this way. Instead of this way. The top of the arm to the back of the arm. Yeah. I'm thinking that's what it is. What it would be. That is a good question, though. Because technically they wouldn't need the... Um, technically they wouldn't need their feathers to go in any particular direction because they wouldn't need to be aerodynamic anymore, but... I literally have arm hair that essentially does that. <laughs> there you go. I don't know which direction... My arm hair's going because it's real fine. I have a lot of it. It's just tiny and light. So it's hard to see. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'm having a lot more fun with this one. The other, I like the other one too. But I don't know. I, I, I guess I wasn't... I was finding myself dragging my feet a little bit on certain parts of it. And then I just... Stopped. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> 
I'm gonna draw it again. If I'm not feeling it, then it's not gonna turn out nice, and then I'm gonna keep looking at it and just remembering how much I didn't want to finish it. So. Unless they could still fly in it like in a winged bird species. Yeah. Theory crafting, absolutely. I have a really weird headache. Give her a head. Turn her to have like a little pirate bandana. <laughs> I don't know how it stays on her head though. She doesn't have anything to hold it in place. <laughs> your determination. Do you want her to have a little headband? Like a little pirate bandana, almost? Finish drawing it on. It looks good. You could, like, attach, like, baubles to it so it looks like she has little <laughs> earrings. Like a pirate. <laughs> Stoic likes the bandana. What does Apple think? What does Apple feel? Or hold it down. Maybe that's how Jadoa get earrings, because they can't have earrings, because they don't have ears. Like, external ears, so... They just wear headbands with little earrings attached to them. If you like it, I'll keep it, but if you don't want me to do it, then I'll back- I have to back up, so. I don't want to- much more. I should've put it on a different layer. Oh, I did put it on a different- well, never mind then. Fuck that. Alright, so I can take it on and off if you decide you don't want it, but... I like it actually. It can be wrapped around her neck for fun, so she probably has a nice biggish coat to hide in. That could work. Shorts. <laughs> Bird shorts. Okay. I knew what you meant. I knew what you meant. I 
I stop avoiding situations. Do the... Do the string, do the rope, just get it done. own layer. All right. Guys, look, I'm smart. I was being smart and I didn't even realize it. <laughs> Such smart, very me. I ended up not drawing her hands like anywhere near where the um <laughs> where the actual cross lines were. That was a little bit less. You don't just grab. Sometimes you just don't grab the cross light. Yeah, but I drew her fingers in a way that she is gra grabbing a cross. Technically, this foot. Get uh, barrel in down here. Amazing how fast the sun went down here, by the way, because like ago the sun was out a little bit and it was like really outside. Now it's not. Now it's dark. It's, I mean, it's like. Didn't have time to. <laughs> that one snuck up on me. I didn't have time to mute. My bad. <laughs> Thank you. I've been sneezing so much. I don't. I. I, I don't have like season allergies. <laughs> All right, there she is. Alright, um, I will work on the line art for that tomorrow. I'll be at work, 
uh, during my lunch break. It's fucking hot to go outside. Or we'll work on it Saturday, uh, along with uh, Basher's stuff, I think, though. Yes. I want to try to get the line art done on this one, though, on Stoic and Veracruz. How goes? Yep, it's time for weapons. Which is gonna be fun. Actually, this isn't gonna be that hard. I've done I've done all the hard work already. Gonna be coerced into playing WoW already. Eventually, rather. It's alright. It's a pretty good game. I like Guild Wars better personally. That's that's my opinion. <laughs> that's my opinion. <laughs> So I don't care. If y'all like if y'all like a wow, that's good. I'm gonna continue to to to, to like a wow. I'm gonna continue to like Guild Wars. That's fine. I'll always draw stuff. It was the fun I had with friends. Yeah. It, um. See that I think that's um maybe some of it like Guild Wars. I don't mind just hopping on and just playing Guild Wars just by myself for a little while. Um, I, f I find Guild Wars just kind of fun in general, so I don't mind going on to play it, but World of Warcraft I definitely enjoyed more when I had friends to play with. Do it. I already did all the hard work for myself. Proceeds to not follow any of the predetermined lines. Maybe that's what I'll do tomorrow, since it's gonna be too hot to go outside. Maybe I'll bring my Wii, uh, or not my Wii, my uh, my Switch to work. Play Switch. I mean, I don't have any good multiplayer games yet, other than Mario Kart, but. I could get somebody at work to play Switch with me. Or I could just play Breath of the Wild on my lunch break. It's been too hot lately for us to go outside and walk, because it's literally like 100 degrees here. But doing stuff inside can be fun. Damn lines. Aw, yeah. You just reminded me how happy I am that the Wii isn't being used anymore, right? I loved the Wii, but goddamn, it's t it's time. It's 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 dead. It's time. <laughs> I actually really liked the Wii U, though. I mean, I didn't play it that much, but I was also in the process of, like, moving around the time that, like, literally anything worth playing was coming out on that, so... And I'd already played anything that I wanted to play, like... Pikmin I played, you know.
The Switch, I think, is their best console so far. In my opinion. I like the Switch a lot. The name was terrible. Yeah. The, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get... I'll, I, I will concede there. The name was pretty terrible. <laughs> I feel like the Switch is everything that the, that the Wii U should have been. It kind of feels like... It feels like they took, like, the cool touch screen, touch screen tablet thing, but then, you know, kind of added a bunch of other stuff, and... I don't know. I think the Switch is good. I think it's incredible that the Switch is poor. Not sponsored by by They haven't really actually gotten too many opportunities to uh I haven't really gotten too many opportunities to um play my Switch outside of the house, so it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Smash Yes So ready. I am beyond ready. <laughs> it's not coming out soon enough. Gib. Gib game. I heard somewhere that there was supposed to be one more character they're announcing. Because they brought everybody back, but the new, the only character that's new, like, totally, the two, I should say two, the only two characters that are totally and 100% new are, um... Ridley and uh, the Splatoon Inklings. So I'm interested to see what this like third new arrival is going to be. If that's even a real thing. But I, I heard that they were supposed to announce one more at some point. That, like that wasn't everybody. I have a hard time with the Switch. It feels like a low-end tablet, which it kind of is. I'm glad everyone else is enjoying it, but I can't... Oh. But damn, I want to separate handhold and, handhold and consoles. Yeah... Um, I can agree with that. I was really not sure how I felt about a handheld and a console being the same thing. Um, I, I genuinely didn't know how to feel about it when it first came out. When I saw the trailers and stuff for it, I was like, okay, but why wouldn't you just play your 3DS? I don't understand what the point of this console is. You know, I, when I had it, it was like, okay, but, but why wouldn't I just use the 3DS some more. My 3DS is fine. Why do we need this whole big console to be portable? I don't I don't need a portable another portable console. But when I actually got one for Christmas, it's I mean, you obviously have one of have, you know, used it and held it. Oh, thanks for the follow, Omega. Welcome to the chat. Um yeah, but like you obviously have had one and used it and don't care for it and that's totally fair. Um, but I, I, my opinion of it actually changed once I got to hold one and use it. Because it does feel like a low-end tablet, like, based on the plastic and stuff they used, but I don't know, the, I think the screen's really nice, and everything's in HD. The ergonomics and usabilities are, are yeah, it's, it's pretty alright. How's it going, Omega? How you doing? Other thing, portable to me is something you put... Yeah, that, that's fair. Yeah, it, do, it definitely does not fit in the pocket very well. Um, I actually had to go on Amazon and I bought a... Um, I bought, like, a protective case for it on Amazon so that I could just, like, si stick it in the driver's seat of my car and, like, if it falls on the floor, it's fine. Like, <laughs> that that is fair. Uh, you, can't, you cannot put the Switch in your pocket. It does not fit in your pocket. It can fit in your pocket, but it does not do so easily. So that that I will that I will also give you. It does not fit. Okay, very well. I suppose they've reached a point where it is more portable than any other console. It is the most portable console, which is pretty cool. But yeah, I feel you. Hey, you know that's the that's the cool thing about the Axie stack, right? I want you guys to have your opinions. You're allowed to have your opinions as long as you're constructive about it, you know? I have a hard time with Steven Universe, but I still like it, and I'm still giving it benefit of the doubt in some cases. So if you don't like the Switch or you're not crazy about it, that's fair. You're allowed. I didn't feel the same way about Joy-Cons. I think that I love the feeling of the Joy-Cons clicking into the Switch. Yep, yep. That's all I ask for. 
if I if I'm not constructive with my criticisms of stuff, I just get myself all stressed out. So easier just to be constructive up front for me. Who's excited for Smash Bros. Ultimate? Yeah, that's what we're talking about right now, and I'm so hype. I'm so ready. Are you excited about um, some of the characters coming back, Omega? I don't know who you main. I usually play, um, I usually play Lucario or Zero Suit Samus. I like the speed and mobility of them. Um, I also like Bowser Jr. quite a bit. And I, I really, I really want to, I really want to like Mewtwo, if I'm honest. I'm so bad at Mewtwo, but I want to, I want to like Mewtwo. Mewtwo's a lot heavier than I thought he would be, actually. I expect him to be really floaty like Zelda, but he's not. He's actually got a little bit of weight to him. You're excited about Snake? Snake was cool. I'm kind of glad they're doing away with some of it, or at least it seems like they're doing away with some of the, um, the transformation smashes. Like, instead of Giga Bowser being one you can control and walk around and punch people with, it's actually like in the background and real big. Like, I don't know. I It was cool to be able to transform into things, but, like, at the same time, people would just see you and run away. So, I'd rather have, like, a big AoE attack and actually be able to use my final smash. Like, for example, in Brawl, Lucario's final smash was awesome, and then when they changed it to Mega Lucario in, um, in, uh, Smash Brothers. Wii U, or yes, I guess it was Smash Wii U. I, I didn't like it as much. Wolf is Bay. Is it Lucario a clone of Mewtwo? Yeah, it's a rework. Uh, Lucario is a little bit less floaty than Mewtwo. Um, he might have used Mewtwo as a base, but um, he's a little bit sturdier on the ground. So when you're running around as him, you're not, like, gliding across the ground. And, uh, I don't know, to, to me at least, he doesn't feel quite... I'm, I mean, I'm not, like, you know, a professional Smash player or anything, but, like, when I play Lucario, he doesn't feel quite as, as floaty. And so I feel like I have a little bit better control over my character. I feel like I have these claws a lot. Freaking... <laughs> Yeah, when they switched it to the Wii U and the 3DS, they made it so that he turns into Mega Lucario, and then it's more like, um, it's more like Bowser's, where you turn into Bowser, um, into Giga Bowser, and, um, can, like, run around as him. It's kind of weird, to be honest. I liked when he jumped up in the air and became a laser. I was very good at the laser. Now they acknowledge clones as Echo Fighters, which are variants with reworks. Yeah. I have Mewtwo in Smash 4, but am bad and good at the same time as well. Yeah. I... I'm not good at video games. <laughs> I like to play them on the channel, but I'm not good at them. So, like, whenever I play with, like, my brother, whenever I play Smash with him, I get my ass absolutely to me. In Jesus fuck was I doing? I feel like there's one too many fingers here.
This one's the knuckle. What on earth was I doing? Smash is so good. Um, I'm also really excited for Mario Party, actually. I think Mario Party is going to be cool. Mario Party is like the perfect game for Switch. I feel like the fingers are too short, too. What the heck was I doing? Because, like, okay, so there's this. Start with this finger, and there's this piece right, that I, I definitely have in here. And then this comes down that. Okay. There's like the lava, the little lava knuckle. The bottom of this one, there's almost like shale rock. It's This comes down into a. Another little knuckle down here. This piece. One finger at a time. There's one. No, I could just switch to the daggers, and I understand. I'm gonna do this anyway. Doom Eternal? Am I able to post links? Uh, yeah, go for it. No one has given me a reason to not allow links yet, so... Until such a day comes that someone ruins the fun for us, we will continue to allow links. Six screenshots. Fourteen different angles of the weapon. Oh, it's broken into pieces. Yeah, wow, these, okay, these are really not correct. Okay, hang on. Let me rotate this so it's on the same side. Okay, yeah, I, I'm, I'm really off on this. Okay, so there's... Oh, jeez. It's amazing how much of a difference the lighting makes, actually. So there's... A Right here. I was wandering trading Pokemon in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, and I put a Dialga when I traded the Pokemon. The guy sent a Dusk Form Lichen Rock, and it made my day. That's awesome. Yeah, in the picture of them on on waning, um, it's really hard to see that the knuckles are broken up into multiple pieces. And now that you've sent me this link, I totally see it. Like, I thought it was just that there were different, like, striations of magma in it, but it's actually, like, a whole totally separate, like, chunk.
The best thing I ever got off Wonder Trade on Pokemon Sun and Moon was a, uh, um, a Celesteela. I wasn't even, like, trying to get anything cool. I think I just chucked a couple- I think I was Wonder Trading off some of the, um, my- some of my excess, um, rufflets. <laughs> Just to try to get stuff to fill my decks, and somebody sent me a Celesteela. Like, I don't know why you would throw Celesteela on the Wonder Tree, but thank, thank God you did. <laughs> of course, I didn't- it wasn't like I needed it, it wasn't like it was the, the one that wasn't in my game, you know? <laughs> Since I had Moon, I was gonna get a Celesteela anyway, but that just meant I ended up with two Celesteelas. <laughs> Not enough box bases for everyone. <laughs> still mad about that, by the way. That's still- still salty. Still salty about the fact that they didn't give us extra box spaces. I don't know if they remedied that in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, but... Oh my god, this is going so much better. Ah, you came from Trixelbit. Trixelbit and I are pals. Friendos, even. Yeah, Trixel's super duper cool. I don't get to catch his streams very often because he streams either right after I get home from work and I'm making dinner and stuff, and it's hard for me to just go and chat because I kind of just want to listen to music while I'm... It's hard for me to hear while I'm cooking because there's, like, you know, microwave and sizzling and, and just... Sometimes it's hard. Um, or he streams while I'm at work. Or we stream at the same time. Mostly, I just can't catch any of Trixel's streams, but he's great. <laughs> he, he is the local meme lord. Oh, he's your cousin? That's awesome. Yeah, no, he's he is the meme lord. He's the meme king. He occasionally fills my stream with, or my uh, Discord with, with memes. I appreciate it. <laughs> now here's the real question. If he's your cousin, I have to, I have to know. Is he like that in real life? <laughs> is he just, is he just like that all the time? Because it's great. <laughs> Very good. Good friend. Good meme lord. Trixel, if you're still here, I love you. Great. <laughs> no homo, of course. <laughs> well, yeah, kinda. Good. Kinda is close enough. <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> Your answer could have been no, and I would have been fine with that, too. <laughs> Alright, so then there's this little... Little chunky bit over here. goes somewhere in this vicinity. And also, thank you for the compliment. <laughs> I just realized how bad I am at taking- I'm bad enough at taking compliments that I just diverted the entire conversation. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate you. You're female and tricks a little too. There's no way I could be almost. <laughs> that was the joke. <laughs> That's the joke. <laughs> <laughs> I was... uh, I'm to people. <laughs> Everybody's my favorite. You're my most. Favorite. Get I I definitely do need to get a kitty cam. I can try. We just gotta make sure it's definitely no homo, cause you know can't can't have any of that homo nonsense in my chat. Definitely, definitely none of that. <laughs> Let's completely ignore the fact that we've had an entire like three week conversation about how much I suck at asking girls out. <laughs> like just totally ignore that. That's not relevant at all. No way. Homo is in fact entirely <laughs> desired if you were seeking friendly roofing relationship with Trixel. <laughs>
I I feel like that meme of that late. <laughs> This lady, I feel like this, <laughs> like, like, gay shit in my stream? <laughs> it's more likely than you'd think. <laughs> That's me. That's, <laughs> that, that was, that was me in that moment. <laughs> I suck at asking good. I'm not alone. I mean, bad that we both suck, but you know, it's good that I'm not alone. I think that's how that, how that works. Right? That's sympathy, I think, is, is how that how that goes. Right? <laughs> Axel Bottle's just like, hey, what's up, guys? Don't forget I'm here. <laughs> just in case you forgot, I'm still here. But Axel Bottle. Uh, Axel Bottle just doesn't want you to forget about him. That's all. That's all. Light Smash with Trixel and you destroy me with his Captain Falcon, even if I use Cloud. I used him and best I got. Was kind of close, but he still won. Uh, that's how that's how that happens with um, that's how that happens when I play against my brother. My brother plays um, my brother mains um, Samus, and he's like super fucking good at the game, and he just kicks my ass every time, and it's still fun, you know. I don't I don't mind getting my butt kicked. <laughs> I do it for the lulz. I I am in it, not to win it. In fact. Most people are in it to win it. I am in it to have a good time. I'm the opposite of Sam. I am feeling like I'm gonna have a good time. My girlfriend essentially spoke with me and was like, okay, you're fine, <laughs> that's how that works, we're dating, yep. You also have some sort of strange magic. I don't, I don't know what's going on with you. You're some sort of wizard. So this is going a lot better now that I have a 3D model that I can look at of this thing. <laughs> and then there's some sort of weird giant bird sticking out of it. Like, I don't know what this is all about, but yeah, it's just like a giant bird skull just sticking out of it. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but it has like two eyes. I don't like it, but I do kind of like it. Probably on account of it's a gauntlet. That hand or arm though is coming out amazing. Aw, oh, thanks. Uh, about 20 minutes ago, it was not going well at all. <laughs> like a another little chunky, chunky biz down here. It My strange magic also seduced her a few days after Jesus. You guys. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna carefully avoid the one in the back for a minute. Wanna I have to draw all the chains on it. I'm gonna teach you guys a little trick about how... Uh, how I draw chains. All right, you ready? Got a boop. Come on. Sometimes you're real good at it, and sometimes you're real. Uh. We'll do it the opposite. That's better. Okay. I have revised my trick on how to draw chains. Draw the center chain first. Draw the links that are facing you first, and then draw the rest. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. I am kind of a professional. Maybe some semblance of a clue of what's going on. You. 
It's like magic, you guys. <laughs> I don't know how to talk to girls, but fucking here we go. I could do line art chains worth a damn, but <laughs> fuck talking to other people, right? Chain magic. Can't wait for the new Spider-Man game. Oh, is there a new Spider-Man game? Must have missed that one. That'll be cool. Everybody loves a good Spider-Man. I'm excited for the new Ant-Man movie. <laughs> I know that's a different insect man, but still, I'm... And a different medium altogether, but I'm really excited about the new... It looks so good. Sometimes you fuck up this fuck this up a little. That's fine. And a bucket of hay catches you and you're safe. What? Oh. You just need to push off a building like Assassin's Creed, right? Good. But I won't. Guess what? I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> Was that life advice? Might have been. Might not have been. The alternative to this would have been to get an actual chain brush, but not to, so I didn't. For some reason, this was easy. <laughs> Sometimes this is slightly less aggravating than looking for a brush, because at least I have control over this. Sometimes finding a good brush takes, like, Especially one that's free. Go. Done. Chain numero uno. <laughs> Your motivational speeches sound great at the beginning and then have a death threat at the end. That's basically apple gravy all the time. <laughs> Actually, eat this. Ding. The way to go. Then it makes things easier. Oh, sorry, I was focusing on drawing the chain and not draw, uh, not looking at chat. Um, yes, it's a weapon from World of Warcraft. This is a commission for uh, Stoic and for uh, Rearchra, who's... Uh, I don't know if Rearchra's still here, but... The commission for... It's done at some point in my life, so... How can... Uh, yeah, that's, that's big. Alright, let's not cross the chains, in fact. Let's, um... We're gonna have to do another, uh...
I'll have it cross at the bottom, I think. Oh yeah, let me zoom out so you guys can see what we're working on. Actually, here, we'll just do the other thing. Ah, <sighs> window. I did this one time, and I don't know if it was helpful for you guys or not. Might not be as easy. I don't know if that's easier for you guys to see. That's that's what we're working on. Wings are calling. Yes, go get food. Get your food. Everybody's doing good tonight. Hope you're all chilling. I'm gonna cross right here and get a little bit weird, but I don't know. Uh, maybe. I feel like I need to have one there to balance it. It just so like complicated with the line art around this area. I might have to color the lines on the um on the chain. Actually, when we get to the stage of coloring, I might need to color the chains or tone them in a way that um they're not too thing. Okay, go get some tea. I'm gonna get a drink actually real quick. All right. Are you an artist also, Omega? You just a a lover of art. Also valid. Drawing these chains is like rising. I don't know. I feel, I feel like it needs that third one or that second one to like balance it almost. I know the last one's gonna be. Better, but... Back, I'm just gonna steal this one. Lost the picture for a second.
My bad. Drank that water too fast. <laughs> One of our mods, uh, Dire Crow, make, gets all my music for me. He uh, puts my... He just kind of grabs like a... And a lot of stuff, it's mostly uh, either royalty-free or stuff that just I won't get in a ton of trouble for using. Because um, I really don't want my... I don't want my Twitch mods to get... Mods? That's what I meant to say. Uh, I don't want my Twitch videos to get muted, so... Video game, indie video game music is a really good way to avoid that. Out of time already. Madness. Fun hanging out with you guys. Kind of getting mesmerized by drawing chains over and over again. It was good. I definitely can't stay up late again tonight because I'm so tired today. I'm still kind of tired. Okay, I'm gonna go take some microphone. Like, <laughs> Probably actually do my neck exercises tonight too because I've had a headache. I should probably try to unkink my neck. <laughs> no, be, be kind to my back. I found out how to uh, make um, Desmume um, speed up. Great. Because it was taking eight years to do any kind of grinding, so it took me like 30 minutes, 45 minutes last night to you know, get everybody leveled. I thought I did this early. To get everybody leveled up. For uh, our next stream. The squad is ready to go. Our Articuno uh, killed its its first other Pokemon, which was great. Very proud of him. Them. Very good Articuno did his best. Did their best. Okay. Chain. Done. I almost kind of don't even want to draw the other one, to be honest. Like, I, I don't know. I feel like it's going to be too busy right there if I do. Why is the mustache not the right one? Back. <laughs> you have returned. Foxtrot, what up? Fox, what am I streaming for? Uh, I might go over just a little bit to try to maybe finish up the line art on this, but probably not too long. For a little bit. Um, I think, cause I think I'm just about done with this. So. Finish it right. One of those has the mustache. Also, hi, Foxtrot. How's it going? I don't actually know where it went for the stream. It just wasn't on for some reason. And it was. It also wasn't even remotely in the right place. 
I mean, what mustache? There's no mustache. I don't know why you guys are talking about a mustache. <clears throat> I didn't put a mustache on the wolf. Don't worry about it. Well, that just looks fuzzy. Not what I wanted. Ming clearly just has black licorice on her upper lip. Yeah, that's all it is. She's just eating some candy. Fine. Definitely not a mustache. Arker mentions it. Don't tell him. Just keep pretending like you can't see it. Why does Waning have a mustache? What do you mean, why does Waning have a mustache? He doesn't have a mustache on. I mean, I could, like, not end the stream soon, but I'm definitely gonna end the stream in the next, like, ten minutes, because I definitely can't stay up late tonight. So even if even if Epi comes over here, which I know that's why you're asking, I'm not gonna be up that much longer, so you would be jumping into a stream with nothing in it. <laughs> well, if I get a gift card, I will subscribe to you and Trixel. Aw, oh, that would be so cool. Then you could be an official part of the Axie stack. Well We need a we need a better name for the we need like a um like a sub name. Because you guys are Staxies, but like, what are the sub- sub -lottle? You'd be a sub I guess? Welcome to the sub -lottles. Is that what it would be? You mean for that? Yes. Substack Shack? Yes, that's the one. Full of sublottles. Hey, Kay, what I have now? I know, but I keep saying welcome to the Axie Stack for literally everything, and I'm just like... Maybe I should not say that, because if you're... If you follow the channel, you're part of the Axie Stack. That's how that works. So it's not like subbing, subscribing to me makes you part of the Axie Stack. You become part of the Axie Stack by just being here and being cool. <laughs> you know? So it's like... I should say, welcome to the sub -lottles. Or something along those lines, you know? Need a name for my community, honestly. Th that's sometimes the hardest part. You should ask your community for suggestions. Um, that's what I did. I mean, I went with Axie Stack because Axies do actually stack. So, like, it made sense, but... Got weird then. Um... Oh yet. They stack, they do. They do actually stack, it's great. 
Of course, now my picture comes up in here. Sure, stacking. Stacking. Oh, there he is, stacking. They just don't realize that there's another axolotl in the spot where they want to sit, so they just sit there. <laughs> Axolotls are not the most aware. They're very cute, but they're they they don't really know what's going on half the time, to be honest. Which is part of why I chose them as my mascot, because I don't really know what's going half on half the time either. Pixel cause Pixel cause he's my cool furry cousin and cause you seem a nice person. Aw, thanks. Yeah, Lily, that happens. Pinterest is is just a hellscape. That's it's not because they're being a dick about it. It's that's just kind of the way Pinterest is, and I hate it. Pinterest is such a garbage website. You can file a um you can file a DMCA takedown report with them. Um, they're usually pretty cool about it, but they'll take it down. Uh, yeah, somebody posted the Axolotl I use as my avatar on Twitch. Um, Steve. <laughs> My little black and white axolotl. Somebody put that on Pinterest, and I, I don't want it there. Just to be mostly just because I don't want people to think that it's something that they can use for free because it's not. That that axolotl is my mascot, and so it needs to be continue to be mine. And nobody else can use it for anything because it's mine. Um, it would be like if somebody tried using you know PewDiePie's Brofist as their as their avatar. You know, like you can't as like their whatever. I, I, I don't know. It just, I, I don't want people to think that it's okay to use it, so I filed a DMCA takedown notice with them. You don't have to have any kind of, like, um, as long as you have proof that you're the one who made it, like, for example, if it's already on, like, a social media somewhere, um, that's older, I assume, or if you can just, if you can just prove to them that it's yours somehow, um, since I didn't have it on the internet after that, um, because I, I accidentally did it, um, I had to send them, like, a, I sent them a JPEG of the, of the information screen on my computer for it, um, but, uh, yeah, no, you can, you can file a report for it to have them take it down, and Pinterest is actually kind of, it took them a couple weeks to get to mine, but then they, when they did get to it, they were really about taking it down, and you can tell them to remove all instances of it from Pinterest, Pinterest is just a garbage site. Then again, I don't even know what's going on. Yep. Ninja's a really big Fortnite player, isn't he? I found a group of people using my character for their role plays. Yay. Oh, that's gross. Just in general, the people. Yeah. Yep. That's the way the internet goes. That's why all my axolotl stuff has um, copyright notices on it now. I had to watermark everything because I don't. Internet's great. All right, we're just about done. I only had to go a little bit over time, so that's good. Is watermarked. Oh, jeez. I mean, that won't stop people. That's... It stinks. But, hey, at least, uh, that means that your art's good enough. Stolen? Question mark? If you could call that a plus side. <laughs> you know, at least there's that. Your character is interesting enough that somebody decided they wanted to use it, I guess. I wish I could tell you that that's not normal, but it is. <laughs> and for stuff that's like not my original work, I don't care, but... I do care when it comes to my original work. Well, 
there you go. Sometimes people are totally chill about it, too. Like, there was somebody on Tumblr who took my axolotl- or not Tumblr, uh, DeviantArt, who took my axolotl and named it Riptide, and were saying it was their OC, and I was like- I just- I sent him an e I sent him a note on DeviantArt, and I was like, hey, so that's mine, and I have copyright on it, and because I created it, so maybe can you not? And they were like, holy shit, yeah, I'll take it down, I'm- and they sounded like they were really young, they were like- Oh my god, yeah, I'm new to DeviantArt, and I didn't know that you weren't allowed to just post stuff you liked. I'm sorry, I'll, 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 I'll take it down. You know, it was like, they were so nice about it. So you could get lucky, and these people could just be like, oh shoot, yeah, I'll, I'll take it down. Okay. Um, I think I'm pretty good with that for now. Trees and stuff. So, um, all the trees and stuff, all the trees that go, like, in this area back here, I'll do in just, like, flat colors. I don't, I don't need to go in and find art for that stuff, so... Uh, I think for right now, I think I'm gonna call that done. I might go in and do some, like, maybe next time I'll go in and, like, darken up the lines, like, on this part of her arm and stuff, just to pull those elements forward a little bit. But, uh, I think for 10, 11 at night, uh, it's time to stop. So. Uh, that's, that's good. It is, it is time for me to go to bed, so. I have to get up for work tomorrow, unfortunately. Um. So, Bev's do. Doing a thing. Nope, Bev is not still doing a thing. Never mind. Oh, that's why I can't find anybody. They redid the way these are laid out. Yeah. Epi's still streaming? Go right, Epi. Anyway! <laughs> we get into the loop, we get into the loop. Let's do it. Alright guys, I'm gonna head off to bed. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, tomorrow is my day off and my family is home, so I will be uh, hanging out with them tomorrow. Uh, but my next stream is gonna be on Saturday. We're gonna do Stack Saturday. I think what I'm gonna do Saturday, and I'll, I'll post it in the Discord um, uh, about it, but I think either this Saturday or next Saturday. Oh no, next Saturday I'm not streaming at all. Um, Sometime in the next couple of weeks, we'll, I, I want to do a stream to celebrate us hitting 300 followers. Um, I'm going to do sketches for just everybody. Uh, anybody in the chat can request. You don't have to be a sub for it. But it's kind of just to celebrate us hitting a 300 follower goal. Uh, and then our next follower goal is going to be 500 followers. So that's up on the screen already, as you can see. If you are not already following, I would appreciate the follow. Uh, that way you can always see when... When the Axie Stack is doing their thing, and if you are not in the Discord, you can ask, ask Axobottle for the Discord link. Um, you'll have to be approved by a mod, which is fine, that, that's what happens. But um, the Discord's the best way to keep up with what I'm doing, and what's going on with me. Um, next week, from about Thursday, Thursday till Tuesday, I won't be, no, Thursday till Monday, I won't be streaming. Tuesday is the next day I'll be streaming, but that, all next week is fine, so I'll, I'll bring that back up, um in the middle of the week next week, but uh, I'll update you guys on what's going on and all that. Oh, jeez, it's Fev. No wonder I couldn't raid you. It was just... <laughs> I, I was gonna raid you, and then uh, then it looked like you were offline, so I stopped. What up? Awkward end of the stream raid. It's a good thing I didn't try to raid you. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm, on, the, I'm on the outro rambling trail here. I was thinking about it, and I clicked on your channel first to see if you were even still online or if the Twitch was freaking out. And, um, I saw it said you were offline, so I was like, well, uh, we're gonna go bug Epi in a minute, but I just was, uh, updating everybody on my situation. So, um, yeah, so next next stream is on Saturday. If you're not in the Discord, uh, let me give you the Discord link. Axobottle has the Discord for you. Um, yeah, so, um, next week's gonna get a little weird because my family's coming to visit on Thursday, so, um... Oh, gosh. FC None, thank you for the follow. <laughs> um, yeah, so next week's gonna, little, gonna get a little weird, so I won't be streaming at all um, next Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. Uh, we might stream Tuesday. But, um, so next, next, the next streams you're gonna get from me are Saturday, 
Maybe we'll do a Sunday just to make up for the fact that we're not getting enough streams. Um, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday I'm going to uh, take a break for the weekend. But anyways, uh, that's neither here nor there. I, I just got on that topic and figured I'd finish that, that thought process. Um, hi, Fev and all Fev's friends. I hope you guys had a good stream. Uh, and sorry you popped in at the very end of my stream. Usually 10 o'clock is my limit, and I went over a little bit just to finish up the treats on this. So, um, yeah. I will see you guys on Saturday for, um, I will see you guys on Saturday for, um, words and stuff for Stack Saturday. Uh, I don't know what we're doing for Stack Saturday. I've already lost track of what day of the week it is and which, um, alternating week we're on. So, I will figure out what we're doing. Saturday, Stack Saturday, and then I'll see you guys then. All right, you guys are all the best. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you have a good rest of your day or a good rest of your night. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Let's go. Let's go raid the epi. Let's do it. Maybe we won't. We won't get stuck in a raid loop. All right, bye.